Hi, in this tutorial, I will discuss about how to manipulate a URL within Sitely. There is a number of options available you can give to the expression language while defining a page URL or URL and then you can manipulate your URL generated in Sitely. Okay, so let's understand the structure of URL. Okay, the first thing is this is scheme. We used to call it scheme in expression language or in Sitely. Uh, this is domain and whatever the path after domain means all the page path this is a path okay this is selectors obviously you can have more than one selectors you can separate it all the selectors with dot like selector one selector two selector three separated by dot then you have extension what what is the extension of that url after that url you can have suffix right you can have more than one suffix and then you have fragments so all this whole url you can manipulate inside sightly after giving you know by giving some options in expression tag when when you generate this url okay so what we will cover i'll cover in detail scheme domain selectors extension suffix and fragment we'll see the demo each of one right for every everyone and if you are adding selectors, there's two options. You can add selector or you can remove selectors as well. And we'll see how you can add selectors uh, in, a, you know, in a different way. Uh, suffix also, you can prepend suffix or you can append suffix. So uh, we'll see that. There's a one more thing, path. You can add path or you know, prepend path or append path. Path, I have already discussed in some other tutorial. So I am not discussing right now. But if you will see here, me come back so basically this is path this is path right so you can manipulate this path as well using append path or prepend path uh, but i'll not discuss this thing is here as i have already discussed okay now let's see the example okay okay so now let's see the example of each one one by one okay Okay, so I'll talk about uh, DOM scheme first. So if you're seeing here, I gave a path. Whenever you want to add scheme, means the protocol, HTTP, HTTPS, you can add scheme is equal to whatever your protocol is, HTTP or HTTPS. Okay, if you do not have this, it will add a protocol. Or if you have this, already have, and you are giving this, so that means it will replace your existing one. Right. So I have in second one, I have HTTP and I'm giving scheme is equal to HTTPS. So this HTTP will be replaced by HTTP. Okay. If you give the empty scheme, so that means this protocol or the scheme will not remove. In some of the other example, you will see that something has been removed. But in case of scheme, it will not remove. Either you give the empty scheme or you give the scheme without any parenthesis. Right? So let's see the example. Let's build it and deploy. Okay. It's already. So if you see the first one, I gave only this path, but I gave the scheme. So it added the scheme HTTP. And in second one, it was HTTP, but I gave HTTPS, so it replaced HTTP with HTTPS and the opposite vice versa. And, and here I gave scheme is equal to empty parenthesis, but it did not remove existing one. Okay, now let's see. Now let's see domain. Okay, so using add the way domain, you can add domain to your path or the, your URL. So right now I do not have the domain so i can as i said okay domain is equal to amgeeks.com so there will be a domain added right but keep in mind i'm adding only domain i'm not adding scheme so it will not you know prepared protocol like http or https because i'm not doing that you can combine all these two so in the second option i'm going okay scheme should be https but my domain is amgeeks.com the third one, if you have existing domain in your URL and you are giving the domain, so it will replace your domain. Okay, so let me build it. Let me deploy it to AM. So in the first one, there should be a domain without protocol. Second one, there should be a domain with HTTPS. And the third one, 
amgeeks.com will be replaced by amdemo.com okay it's done let's refresh it okay so the first one domain is added but without protocol http the second one we added domain and both protocol and third one it amgeeks is replaced by amdemo so that way you can manipulate and you keep in mind uh, you can add all the combination of whatever i'm telling you can add scheme domain or what i explain in you know right now after this you can add all the combination of each one right okay let's discuss okay let's discuss selectors now so by using these selectors you can add selectors right here i'm giving selector one dot selector two that means two selectors will be added after this page or before extension okay html is extension either you can give if you have more than one either you can give in a dot separated means add using dot or you can give array right in the first one there will be two selectors will be added selector one dot selector two second one there will be two selectors selector three and selector four okay you can add selector to the existing selector by using add selectors right if you see in the third one uh, there will be already existing selector 3 and selector 4 on top of that you are adding selector 5 and selector 6 so in this url there will be four selectors starting from selector 3 to 6 okay remove selectors you can remove your existing selectors right whatever the selectors you have if you add a remove selectors these selectors will be added okay and you can add you know use this in combination right you can add add selectors and remove selectors in a single you know element and if you give selectors is equal to empty brackets so that means it will remove all your existing selectors right either you give the empty parenthesis or you give only the selectors so it will remove all your selectors that's why i said uh, in case of scheme this is not true but in case of others you know the options uh, this is true if you give empty or if, if you give without any value it will remove your selectors or the suffix whatever you will be having okay so let's build it and let's see okay done let's refresh it uh, so if you see the first one two selectors added second one three and four selectors added and third one as i said four selectors added and the fourth one there were two selectors selector three and selector four but i added an option of remove selector three so this third one has been removed and in the option five and six uh, i use empty one either empty or only selectors so all selectors whatever were there have been removed okay let's save it okay so let's discuss extension this is your extension whatever after your selector is that is your extension okay so using extension you can add extension uh, you can replace your extension or you can remove your extension okay so if you already have extension and you define some extension so this defined extension will be replaced this existing extension that means the html will be replaced by json right if you do not have extension it will add extension right but if you give the empty only extension it will remove the extension from your url okay so let's build it let's see so first one html is replaced by json uh, it did not have extension so added html extension and third one because I give only extension, it will remove extensions. Okay. Okay. So let's discuss suffix. So whatever is there after extension is suffix. Okay. After slash. So by using suffix, you will be adding suffix. Prepend suffix means it will prepend the suffix of existing suffix if there were any. Okay. Append suffix means it will append your ex suffix to the existing suffix if they are okay and on, if you give only suffix it will remove your existing suffix right so the first one we'll see is uh, suffix like slash geek slash suffix and uh, in prepend so it will add a prepend before geek append means it will append after slash suffix and the fourth one it will remove your suffix that means the only the url till html will be there okay so let's deploy this to am
okay deploy it see it's here the first one the suffix has been added the second one a prepand means before this suffix before this geek suffix the prepanded has been added appended has been added after the suffix and the last one all the suffix has been removed okay okay let's understand the fragments so after suffix whatever is there after hash means suffix hash then whatever is there that is called fragment as i explained you in ppt okay so if you are defining suffix that means it will add a suffix right if you already have a suffix and you are defining it that means it will replace your existing suffix and the simple only fragment uh, this will uh, sorry i said suffix um, my meaning is fragment okay so if you have already defined fragment it will remove your uh, replace your existing fragment and and if you give only the fragment it will remove your existing fragment whatever is there okay let's deploy it done and let's see okay so the fragment one has been added in second one i already had a fragment one so it replaced with fragment two and the third one it re you know removed all the fragment existing fragment fragment two okay so that way so that way you can manipulate url within sitely itself this is very important and i hope you understood if you have any question please do comment i'll try to answer it thank you very much